Gary, about, about Apollo, you know, we've been in business, or Apollo Japan's been in business since 1964, which is, you know, a, a relatively long time for a, a dining company to still be going. Apollo Australia started in 1988. Apollo also, um, you know, came up with some of the firsts in dive equipment. They came up with the first ever digital gauge. They made the dump assembly on BC, the pull down dump assembly on BC, they were the first people to produce this. They've sold more underwater scooters in the world than any other company. Which adds to why still with Apollo. Yeah, they've, uh, you know, they're an honourable company. They look after their clients, and even after many years, if we've found a problem with a product and it's been put down to a manufacturing defect, often they will still look after their customer even then. Again, it comes back to the way we deal with our customers. We have a philosophy of doing it right. That is why we're moving towards ISO 9001 why we deal with the military, and the military deals with us, because they can trust us. Why can they trust us? Because we will do the right thing by them. We have been in business now for, like you said, since 1988 in Australia, but Apollo itself has been developing these products since 1964. Yeah. And this, the scuba market's always been really, really important for the company and will continue to be so. And recently, you know, we did, as you mentioned, branch into the military area. We actually have even military staff on board here now. And dealing with military and government is very, very important, as you well know. We've got to be efficient. We've got to be seen to be efficient. And have products of a very high quality that meet the demands of some of the operators that we deal with. Very much so. Because military won't deal with just anybody, as we found out. We have to prove ourselves. Time and time again. Well, you know, there's things like the Apollo biofins, for instance, you know, just a fantastic fin. Apollo were the first to bring split fin technology to the market in Australia and, well, in the world for that matter. Many people have come and tried to copy the split fin technology. No one's been able to beat the performance of Apollo. And, you know, even uh, probably some of the biggest military groups throughout the world all use Apollo fins. It's probably the most used military fin out there. As well as that, the AIS suits, which we developed here. Yeah. As well as the, all of the dry suit technologies that we have in place. Yeah, and, it, and it's interesting, you know, the, the people that we're dealing with, like uh, some of the Special Forces operators, they can choose whatever product they can or want in the market. They don't care about price. It's all about capability and how good the product is. And, you know, they can buy anything. So when they buy our fins, they buy our suits, they buy our gloves, they buy our boots. They buy our underwater scooters, they buy a follow, they buy a follow, they buy a quality product. Along well, with that, there was also products that we've developed from scratch. The ladder, the um, and currently working on other products yeah. which are not only for military but also for civilian use as well. Because let's face it, that's a big it is the biggest part of our market. And we go out of our way to find ways to help develop new products as well as make the existing ones what people want. It's, it's, it's kind of all about listening to your clients some of the time. Like I've visited various different military groups, let alone be at a dive shop or a military group. You've got to listen to what people are saying and come up with a product that suits. And you know, for instance, the boarding ladders that we did produce are now in service in Australia and other countries. Uh, an expensive product, but um, something that's incredibly lightweight, built in Australia, built out of high-grade titanium, and uh, just used for you know for various different military groups. Exactly. Um, along with also our masks, snorkels, the change, we listen to what the customers say, and go with the right colours for what they want. Um, or even different glass types, as in the uh, ones for spearfishing, as well as scuba diving for photos and yeah, we, we know, all of it. It's, it's funny, you know, you, you say that on masks because we actually had the um, Ministry of Defence ring up recently and they needed the mask that, that, that was specially developed for insertion by helicopters for guys. They were having masks implode, the glass breaking. So we actually developed a specialised mask which uh, has a, uh, a Lexan CR39 lens in it, which uh, which won't shatter upon entry into the water from a high from a high um, 
and they will have a helicopter, for instance. Exactly. Um, and all of these products have come through years of experience, years in the marketplace and years of listening. I suppose too, you know, it's, it, we've been in business a while, over 30 years or so, I suppose, and uh, over that period of time, you know, I've certainly learned where to go and source products, where to find the right products, in which country to go to, which ones produce the best. And it's all about the art of picking those companies to deal with as well. Ones that back us up and can listen to us and bring to the market the right designs. We are able to support others because we ourselves are supported by the people that we buy the stuff from and people that we talk to. And we find out what will work and what doesn't work. So we don't go out there and just bring something in because it's cheap and easy. Because so you know, at the end of the day, yeah. that will cost us. No, it and it costs other people. So we don't want that to happen. So, you know, come and take a look at scubaonline.com.au and apollomilitary.com. See what we're about. We're about some pretty serious stuff. We take our customers seriously and we take you seriously. Thank you. Thank you.